Hi everyone, this is Sunil here. You all welcome to this online session. In this session, we are going to talk about uh, the JMS specific uh, JMS event schema manager. Okay, so we are going to talk about that, and uh, we are going to talk about how to generate and deploy a specific schema. So let me try it, and you can see that it's showing me an uh, some error. So let me try to generate it. Already saying this, uh, my I don't have a package. For example, I can check it. So details, there is a no secure objects to generate it. Verify that at least one package is secure. So what I do here is, I'll go to the packages and I'll try creating a package here. So let me go and try to create a package. I will make it put package so that it's uh, more, more flexible. And uh, yeah, so let me name it as uh, party. So party next, and I create a new query group. Uh, QG and then let's say party okay and then I'm going to create a query just a dummy query I and mean a simple query and then we'll go back to the JMS event schema manager so new query I just create a very basic query right so just select the table as uh, party and uh, party and name it as Q underscore party next and finish it so pretty much done. It's creating the query now. And yeah, finish. So it's done. So once that is done, now let's go back to the JMS schema event manager and uh, try to generate the uh, schema. Um, I'll tell you what exactly this thing is, JMS schema manager, what it does. Uh, once we generate the file, then I'm going to show you what the file contains uh, then probably you will have more idea on what I'm talking about so let's go here and try generating one so now it should be able to generate it's not through any uh, message because I already have packages so you can see here it is creating the uh, file what basically it is doing is it's generating the schema it means it's generating an XSD file that is uh, if you understand the, an XML file then this is a metadata file for the XML, that's the XSD file and I can download this file and uh, let me save it in my desktop and uh, let me open this from my desktop let's see where did I where did it go, yeah so this is what I'm talking about, let me open this in my notepad plus plus so here I go, I do see a lot of things, let me see what do I see here so you can see here insert event, uh, update event, update xref uh, except as unique event, I do see a lot of things here, right? So I can see how is the insert going to look like? Uh, for example, when you do it for the party package, then how it's going to look like? How do you send it? And if you want to, like, basically when you try to publish a message, for example, when I go here, for let's say party table, I go here and try to publish a message. Let me go here add a message trigger, I give any name, let's say I give just any name and choose the package and I go here so when I choose this, right, finally next and when I say this and finish, let's say uh, let's say adding data, updating data, this one next, turn it, right, and finish it off now what's going to happen is uh, XML message, if there are any changes to your uh, MDM, any insert or update, a message will be published into the JMS queue. Now what is that message that is going to be published? That message will be published and this is the schema definition for that. I mean, uh, if someone, the downstream application, wants, they want to understand the XML message, they need this file as well because uh, that's how it's going to work because you can see here, uh, all the things, it uh, contains all the definitions that all the types of messages that could be in there and all that, right? So this is quite an important file, but uh, this is how you're going to use it, right? So that's about this uh, sort session. Uh, this was about the JMS event schema manager. And whenever there are any changes, you can again go find out out of sync objects and then you can regenerate this and you can do that, right? So you need to regenerate it every time. Uh, if there are any significant changes in your system otherwise you don't need to do it okay so that's about uh, this uh, short session about uh, this and i'm going to finish it thanks for your patience thanks for listening thank you very much guys